If you've ever had a drum track here in GarageBand iOS and you'd really like to split out all of the different kit pieces into their own individual tracks, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. If you'd like to learn how I turned this drummer track into a drum track, check out the video linked up the top and in the description. Step one, let's duplicate this original drum track. To do that, we need to tap right here on the drums icon and hit duplicate. We now need to tap, tap again and hit copy. With our playhead still at the start there, let's come to our new track, tap in this blank space and hit paste. And there you go, we've got an exact copy of our original drum track. Step two, we tap on this one and hit the edit button. And now we can actually highlight all of the different kit pieces here. So if we zoom in by pinching with two fingers, what we can do is tap out here, drag over all of them which makes a bit of a fun noise, and then tap on here and hit the delete button. This is going to leave just one kit piece here. We now hit the done button and check this out. We've now got just our kick drums in one separate track. If like me, it's removed all your volume and your sliders, you can just drag out from there to get back to here. Step three, we wanna do this again. All we need to do is tap on this one, hit the duplicate button and repeat that process. Tap, hit copy, Go to our new track, make sure your playhead is right at the start. You can hit this button here if you'd like to. Tap again and hit paste. And now we can tap on this one, hit the edit button like so. And now we can choose a different one. Let's come down here and remove everything but the snare drum now. So if we tap up the top here, we could delete everything like this and just leave this snare drum. So we're gonna tap and hit delete. We also need to get rid of the kick drum. So we'll slide across the bottom here tap and hit delete and we're left with just our snare. We hit done and there we go. We've got these two tracks separated out now from our original mix. And if we just solo these two and go back to the start, let's take a listen. Very cool, we've got these two separated out. Now I'm not gonna go through each of these because you can rinse and repeat this as many times as you like. And you, the cool thing is that if we edit here, you can actually select multiple. So if you want all of your symbols in one, why not just select all of your symbols and put them on one if you don't wanna separate them onto separate tracks. So that's how simple and easy it is to separate out your drum tracks here and split them out onto different tracks and then you can adjust your volumes, you can adjust your effects, all separated out onto individual tracks here in GarageBand iOS.